That's a solid fish right there. Good winter blue catfish. Let's go ahead and release them. What's up guys? Jack Cats here. Welcome to today's episode. Been three to four weeks since I've been on the river. It's been a while since I've given you guys a video. I apologize, I've just been so busy. Right now I'm in the thick of wrestling season, coaching both middle and high school wrestling programs. And I finally have a free weekend to get out. Don't really know what to expect. Uh, because I just haven't been out for so long. But water temp is 47 degrees. Let me just double check here. Yep, 47.4. Floodgates are still on below Chickamauga Dam. Currents at 60,000 cubic feet per second, which is pretty good for an anchor bite. And that's all we're going to do today. It's just anchor fish. And right now I'm at one of my go to spots. This is a current seam that I'm anchored on. And I did really well fishing here in the month of November and December. And it's end of January now, so there may be. A few big ones in here still, we'll see. Man, I tell you what, guys, feels great to be back out. This one has a little bit of shoulders on them, I think. fish. Eighteen. Eighteen pounds. Nice fish. Good fish. Good first fish to start the day. Eighteen pounds. Let's go ahead and release them. She goes back to the depths. Get another bite right here. Makes me wonder if that's a flathead bite. Something's messing with it. Got him.
he ain't big. small yep flathead I thought that's what it was and you can just see the difference between a blue and a flathead takedown Flatheads will sometimes have the most subtle bites. But I'll take a flathead during this time of the year. During the winter time, it's not very common. So this flathead's pretty small. I don't know, seven, eight pounds, something like that, but it came on the bluegill head. I'm gonna show you. Bluegill head. But yeah, here he is. I love the flatheads. I'm sure most of you guys do too. But look at that head. And for the winter time, Late January, this is a nice fish. Let's go ahead and release them. She swam off. All right, so I think what I'm gonna do is um, go downstream, look for a few more areas. The bite's actually pretty good, uh, better than I thought. We had cold temperatures, earlier in the week and I'm talking like low 20s upper teens so pretty good I've been here for I don't know 45 minutes now and so I'm gonna go ahead and see what else I can find downstream so stay tuned small one fish
respectable. I'd probably say just like the first blue I caught. I don't know, 16, 17 pounds, something like that. I'm going to weigh them. I just want to make sure my estimates are right. 17 pounds. So that's really good. Let's go ahead and release them. There he goes, back to the depths. What I'm doing is I'm fishing this barge. Uh, there's a lot of structure down there, a lot of debris, and plus it's muddy. Kind of like a chocolate milk color to the water. I mean, it's stained. And that's because South Chickamauga Creek is just upstream from me. And with all the rain and runoff from the creek is making this dirty, which is good for catfishing. The murkier the water, the better in some ways. In some ways, I mean, I'm only anchored in 14 feet, and back in here it's like 15, 20 feet. So I'm pretty much hugging pretty close to the bank. We have some riprap, uh, barge tie-offs here, so it's a pretty good spot. There we go. Oh, this is a good one, guys, I think and drag a little bit now this one here um, is like in eight ten feet of water oh yeah that's a good one the same size as the other one. Got him. same size as the other two 16 17 pounds it's a good day of fishing right now guys very good day there she goes back to the depths we're downtown now Shown. Small one. He's 
crossed. We're good. Fifth fish of the day. Every spot that I've fished so far has produced. That's a good sign. Very good sign. Oh yeah, fish on guys. Got a double. Getting this fish unbuckled or unhooked, then this rod was down. The small one. Small blue. I'm going to keep him at bay for now. I think we'll be okay. But here's this one. Good fish. Here's fish number six. Yeah, this one's the smallest one of the day. Number six. Let's release them. guys it's actually somewhat of a new spot for me
and good drag. we have very fast current but I think it's the biggest one of the day uh oh there goes that one yep we got a double oh did he come off no but he's on there guys right here Full. I don't think that one's too big. This one here. fish I'll take it biggest one today that's a solid fish right there good winter blue catfish let's go ahead and release them she goes back to the depths all right let's get this one now Actually, it came off, guys. I had my hands full, but I didn't realize it came off. That's okay. It happens. That's kind of the punishment when you fish by yourself. Is that... Um, you can lose fish but this spot gives me hope because I've only fished this particular spot once and it's my second time fishing it and I caught a 24 pounder so that's a that's a good sign it gives me another option for guide trips
شام small one. Now this one came on the tail of the bluegill. I haven't been using the tails but I figured why not give it a try and that's the one that gets hit. It's a small one. But I think that makes fish number eight. Yeah, it's pretty small. Okay guys, I'm gonna end on that fish. I've been out here for four hours or so. I gotta head back. But eight fish, uh, every spot produced. So I, I really can't complain on today. I mean, I consider this a really good day of fishing. No monsters, but really good quality fish. Biggest was 24 pounds. So I'm going to go ahead and call it. I appreciate you guys being patient with me. I know it's been a long time since I've had a video. Uh, but I'm just in the thick of wrestling season right now. And I got more tournaments coming up. And I probably won't have another upload for another two, three weeks or so. So I appreciate your guys' patience and understanding. And uh, as always, give a thumbs up for this video. And we'll see you later.